after we have created the basic forms what we can do is we can also modify them to change the attributes or to make it smaller or bigger I'm going to try touching on one of these which is too small the input text so let's just click on this input text here and I'm going to go to now the modify tab here so click on this and we can now begin to see the the various attributes here that we can have to make changes to this is also perhaps the most challenging part for new users to understand about 3D Studio Max user interface because there are so many things generally being opened up here so let me show you what makes uh, 3D Studio Max user interface so hard to understand here it is largely because let me just drag this one so that it forms more there are so many options to choose from or to make changes to so I always like to advise my students to make things or keep things simple for a start so what happens is it, things will not look so daunting and challenging if we can have we can have all the headers collapsed inside so with more use and we get more familiar with it we will know which header to use and which header to make changes to or which part within the headers to make changes to yeah for example right now if I want to make it bigger I can look at the the parameters here to either change the text okay contents or I can use this to change the sizing as well so at the moment this the size is 25 so maybe if I make this one 250 I can make I can instantly change the size of the text a little bit this way here okay like that and also the nice part about using 3d studio max is a lot of things are kept parametric and changeable so we can update a lot of things on the fly even with this we can also change the font styles like for example by default it is Arial, but we can change it to maybe Bauhaus okay we can change this one to another font Bauhaus for example and with this also we can change it to let's try changing it to another another font altogether so this allows us to do some changes to things as well okay like that and next let's try changing the cube if I select this cube now and go to modify tab I will be able to change the size to make it a little bit more precise for example if I want it to be 500 by 500 by 500 I can then make it this way and then it will be exactly to a precise sizing like that okay